what is going on everyone downtime finally ended and in the background you can see i have a trailer of darth vader actually entering the island he is finally here and with that we have some news to talk about so there's a lot that's going on in this update and we just need to talk about it right now okay so with darth vader arriving you can now fight him as a boss but however he's not at one location when you drop into the map you can see this like tie fighter come in and that tie fighter is going to be darth vader and he can land at one of four locations around the map you go there you fight him and you can get his mythical lightsaber which can be thrown which is pretty neat you can like kind of force throw it you know hit people with it all that good stuff along with vader's return in the locations where vader can spawn at there's these uh chests that are a little bit different than the chests that we're used to i'm gonna just call them vader chests okay in the vader chests they have a chance to spawn lightsabers as well uh more than likely it's just going to be the obi-wan lightsaber i don't know if you'll you'll be able to get any of the other like variant colors of the lightsaber or not because i haven't played any yet because downtime just ended so let me know down below if you've played and if you can get any of the other colored lightsabers all right moving on vader's not the only one that has entered the loop okay we also have naruto's rivals now they're not officially here yet they will be in the shop on the 23rd and with them coming to the item shop we also have some challenges that are also kind of part of this whole thing it's the nindo 2022 challenges and here it says complete challenges to earn naruto rewards in fortnite complete challenges in fortnite's the nindo from june 21st to july 7th 2022 to earn in-game naruto rewards so a few of the cosmetics that are coming with the naruto rivals update right are actually going to be free if you do these challenges one being the the nindo glider which is i believe orochimaru's glider i have a picture up of course of all the naruto collab stuff uh it's pretty neat we're we're getting orochimaru hinata gara and uh, itachi of course with a whole bunch of edible styles and whatnot all that good stuff we also have a couple of extra skins new skins coming new variants coming to the game a couple of new bundles also coming to the shop within this update you'll see them all up on the screen right now as i'm talking we got a lot to go through so that's why i'm just kind of speed going through this you'll see everything up on the screen of course like always but we're gonna move on new weapons so we have two weapons for this update we have the firework gun which is pretty much just a reskin of the flare gun except now along with it showing you where enemies are it's also going to give off like a firework kind of blast when it explodes uh which is nice i guess but you know it's not new but it is new so eh, you know th it is what it is but we also have a saw blade launcher and this thing you actually have to like charge up and it's it's pretty neat actually i don't know if i will ever use it but you know i might give it a chance see how it works see if it's gonna be useful or not i've got a video in the background going of of what it looks like and some gameplay of it this rip saw launcher saw blade launcher is also available at the factory north of log jam apparently right now in game so if you want to try it out head north of log jam and you should be able to find it in the factory inside grab one it should be on the wall i think and go 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 play around with it you know let me know how it is speaking of log jams though log jams has finally changed kinda you know we we predicted that with the reality tree spreading that it was going to bring chapter one pois back for wherever it infected log jams being the first and we were kind of right however it didn't just bring one poi back apparently depending on the match log jams will change between one of four different pois from chapter one and chapter two those locations being coral castle of course lazy lagoon 
Colossal Coliseum and Tilted Town, but without the Rift Zone effects. So you will be able to build if it ends up being Tilted Town. And also with the Reality Tree affecting log jams and everything, we've also seen parts of the Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 map POIs returning to the map. I've got a few pictures up right now of it and uh, also a little clip of someone landing at log jams pretty neat i think but i know what you guys are thinking man that's a lot of map changes for you know the the first update of the season and you would be correct this is a lot of map changes i mean we really haven't seen this many map changes in a very long time okay very long time but we're not done there okay log jams isn't the only one that's been changed okay tilted towers it is currently being reconstructed right we have a few buildings that are being put back together clock towers back together uh one of the buildings is almost back together you can see that it's it's being pieced together slowly but surely and also some of the buildings that should be being rebuilt that are a part of the whole uh block 2.0 build creating thing we will actually be voting on those and it appears that we'll be funding which one we want depending on epic's top three picks right so epic's gonna pick their three favorite you know to be a part of tilted towers and then we as the community will get to to vote on them using gold more than likely to pick which which one of the three that we want as the new building in tilted as you can see we have the images here the weapon images and name is just a placeholder right now obviously uh because from seasons past we've had to vote on stuff and it's always been like weapons and items so they're gonna have to fix that put in a new kind of format picture for the buildings so i would say probably in the next two updates or so we should be able to vote on which building we want to replace one in tilted now that all the map changes are out of the way okay i know that was a lot i want to talk about balance changes okay we only have two balance changes okay but you know they're, they're kind of big balance changes that i think y'all should know about okay first one's first visual audio adjustments Okay, Fortnite here says we've reduced the detection radius of the visual sound effects indicator for footsteps, chests, and vehicles to better match the distance when that sound would be audible. This will mean the source of these sounds will need to be closer, which honestly I think is a really good change because like I used to be able to hear people from miles away and I, that just shouldn't be a thing, you know, and with it popping up a lot closer now it'll give people a better way of actually knowing where someone's at whether you know someone's actually on them or if they're like 50 meters back or something you know definitely something that we're probably going to have to get used to some people are saying that this is a nerf to visual sound effects it might actually be a buff in disguise who knows and the last balance change that we have for this update is reality saplings okay they say we've made adjustments to the amount of reality fruit a reality sapling can grow based on its rarity in each growth cycle reality saplings will now grow three fruits for uncommon and rare two fruits for epic and one fruit for legendary and mythic okay these are huge changes because as we know they used to spawn three fruit no matter what rarity they were okay but keep in mind that you can use chug splashes and uh, the shield kegs to regrow the fruit on the reality saplings. So if you have one of these epic, legendary, or mythic reality saplings, okay, and you pick the fruit and you don't like the item or weapon that you got from it, you can use chug splashes, shield kegs to regrow that fruit and possibly get the item that you're looking for. But that is it for this update. I hope you guys get a chance to play today and have all the fun that you can have with these new locations. Unfortunately, I am about to head on vacation. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye.